Okay, well, it was really long. And I, kind of, I don't watch very many trailers. Did you like the part where it was like... <laughs> Is that how it goes? Do it. You mean... Bum, 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 bum. That one? That thing? Where it went like... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not do that <laughs> I can't sing and you don't want me to have a coughing fit. So. How did it go? I don't know. I'm not very good at doing stuff like that. Especially no. with the stupid cough. I think that room. trailer it it just reeks of desperation like like okay, we're going to play the theme. We're going to show the character from the old movie. And it's going to be like, wow, well, yeah, you remember The Exorcist? It's like, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. You're going to ruin another horror franchise like you did with the Halloween franchise. Because that's who oh, made no. this, Sophie. Oh, no. The dipshits who made the Halloween trilogy. Well, I, I, it doesn't make any sense because it's one demon. So it took possession of two people at the same time. So they're both... I, possessed at the same time so everything that they do even though they're not living in the same place everything they're doing they're doing the same thing maybe pazuzu is they them now and so you know it's a transgender demon and they can possess multiple people because they're you know well i don't understand they've evolved where they got it because it the the kid didn't how did the kid get it before it was Somebody who that that fucking that in. that fucking little girl was fucking messing around with a Ouija board, uh, fucking thinking she had an imaginary friend or some shit. Like, she was like really, really like <laughs> oh, she that. she was like a naive nineteen seventies teenager. Okay, that's fine. Know. These girls are like, <laughs> well, they go into the woods. Not voluntarily, but maybe they're they're in a hypnotic state and they go into the woods and and they and how long was he supposed to have been gone? Three days. So oh. which that's that's a reference to Jesus where thought, he was dead for three days and then he oh. rose from the dead. I thought she was in the hospital for three days. I don't know. Like this trailer like there have been reports that this movie is boring. The test screenings were really bad. And uh, I believe them. And I <laughs> get it, Safi. I believe them. <laughs> well, I don't know. And uh, I just think the trailer seemed rather long. Yeah, this I, trailer was boring. Like this trailer was like, God, how, how much are you gonna put of this movie? <laughs> like, let's say this movie's two hours. Three minutes out of two hours. That's a that's a percentage of the movie. Well, they were trying to. Uh... I think they were trying to remind people about what about the Exorcist. Yeah, like what the, it was like, so they could link the two together. I don't think if you really know the Exorcist. I mean, I haven't seen it twenty times or something. I think I've seen it. I've seen it less than five times, but it may have been like three or whatever. Because it, it's been, it was on years ago, and I saw it in the theater with my dad and my roommate from college. I've seen it like four or five times. <laughs> that was decades ago. <coughs> and, but uh, what, once the mom comes in, it's like, okay, we know what they're doing here. Well, yeah, you know, well, they're I, doing I wanted, the Jamie Lee Curtis thing. And, and she was walking down the church. She had, it looked like she was wearing an old-fashioned dress. I mean, and that, that's where I was wondering, like, what are they doing? The what mom, this? the mom, she was like, I got my Werther's Originals, and I'm going to get out of my wheelchair and tell you about the exorcists. So exorcisms, they've been around for a long <laughs> time. And uh, here's the, the Wikipedia definition. And it's like, th- this is terrible. It's like, what the fuck were they thinking with this trash? Well, and she's not and the, an expert about I mean, They sucked all said, the color out of the movie. She said every culture has something akin to an exorcism they make the fucking uh possessed girl had diarrhea all over the screen (laughs) she said it's gonna take all of them to get rid of this it's gonna take all the methods like she know including (coughs) do you you know the real method that she wants 
them to use. No. Idiots buying tickets to see this trash. Like yeah. that's that's the that's all the methods. Like guys, this is really <laughs> bad. It's a really bad case of exorcisms, and so we got to do with all the stuffs. Well, I don't see what the title. I don't get the title either. At all. The title is probably one of the worst titles in horror movie history. I don't understand what that's supposed to mean. I give the trailer a, a fuck you because this is just exactly what I thought it would be with, uh, uh, you know, I need to come up with nicknames. I mean, it's fitting that somebody with the last name Green would be directing an Exorcist movie, you know, like the the Green Puke. Oh, you know, it's I like you meant the kamikaze Karen girl. Sophie. <laughs> well, that's get, get off, because... get get off, get off of that. I I think get get actually, off of that. It could mean both. I didn't even think of the green puke. Yeah. So See, you and you were, and you also are saying the movie's drained of color. So if something was like that, I don't think you could even see it. The guy who made the Halloween, the shitty Halloweens, made this. Uh, oh, and so I think we should call him got a bad feeling, man. David Gordon Puke or something. I don't, or actually, he sh- really should be David Gordon Gay because he, you know, sucked all the sexuality out of the Halloween movies and, you know, made a bunch of trash. And uh, I just, I don't know what they were thinking here. Like, they're just going to ruin another horror franchise, basically. Because <coughs> what was the idea here? There's I don't two. Know. I there's, don't, that's why I don't understand. That's not the original movie. The it's idea one is demon. let's one just demon. let's just copy the original movie, but just like add a couple of new things to make it look like we didn't copy the original, and then let's you know add the music, Safi. No, what's it I sound think, like? Yeah, I've got to, I'm coughing. I've been coughing. Uh, well, I like the, music. the music is very distinctive. It's, it's like, like Safi. That, that is Psycho. that is one fucking song, you know. In Psycho, at least they had like the balls to you know do more than one song. You know, the whole movie's filled with different music, uh, different songs. Yeah, but it's just the shower scene that has that iconic. No, Safi, the whole movie of Psycho has all a lot of different scores that connect. They're a part of the same, you know, they all sound like they're, you know, similar. And it's it's a full score. This the original even, they just had that one fucking song. Like they couldn't have even at least come up with a new song for this one. Like they couldn't have even like just been like okay let's make a new one that sounds similar but it's it's a somebody new song they, I don't like think they try no to get somebody to they don't have the balls because they just want to copy and steal and plagiarize and just you know take everything from other people's work and then just make money off of it uh so i give it a fuck you safi what would you rate it i just think it was uh so unclear in many respects. I think it was too lengthy. I think it should have been edited down. And it was three minutes. I mean, movies now, they have to be three hours. And I guess trailers have to be three minutes. I don't know what a trailer... Let's say I don't watch trailers, but if I've seen one accidentally, because a lot of them are on... If you watch YouTube, if you and you get... And they have commercials, you, you don't let them get taken away. A lot of the times they'll show movie clips, and so I usually when it says gets, it counts down to one, and I'll just put skip ad, so I won't watch it. So I don't want to judge a movie by these trailers. But so Marco wanted me to watch this trailer. It just seemed rather long, and it was just it was like they threw everything in it, and so that made it kind of convoluted and non look like it was non unedited. So I guess I would give it a D minus. I think a lot of it has to do with too the fact that this movie, you know, comes out in October and they didn't Halloween. even they didn't even have a trailer until now. Oh. So, you know, it's been a long time because you know, the movie sucks. They've had to do a ton of reshoots. Uh mm. so you know, it's it's just it's a disaster in the making. It's exactly what we expected. And uh, they shouldn't. They shouldn't have made it to where I don't know how 
it's supposed to be two demons or just one that has control of two people at the same time. And how did it get control of two people at the same time when it couldn't do that before or they didn't show that doing it before? Because they could have easily, with so many weak-minded people around, they could have the per the demon could have possessed two people at the same time in the other movie so it looked like it only could possess one and whenever you if you if you read or you see any other thing um it, it's always just one demon possessing one person it's not a set of them so i or one that multiplies like a I, I don't know. I, I just think it's kind of odd. I, I, don't, I question the story. The only thing that I'll say... And the title is bad because I don't know what it's supposed to mean. The only thing that I'll say is that if the trailer had looked good, I would have been excited for the movie. Like, I wasn't automatically going in like, I'm going to hate this trailer. I said, if this trailer is good, I'll be happy. But it was so bad... Well, can they, if they wanted to, now, the fall is not too far away now. Could they go back and fix it? No. Oh, wow. No way. No way. That's a shame. But but you know what they could do, Safi? They could not make the next one because, you know, this is going to be a trilogy. So, you know, before this has even come out, they've already announced the Exorcist Deceiver on uh, something... uh, 2025 like you know before it even came out just like with halloween and look how that turned out for halloween they didn't have a plan they rushed into things and they made pieces of shit why did they do it that's why it's so irresponsible because they get the money and it's just like they get the money and they they're just immediately irresponsible with it they know that they can make money from gullible fans and gullible people. and Well, I, the gullibility only lasts so long. I don't know, because, because people thought Halloween ends. There's all these people now. They're like, I don't know why people hated this movie. It was really, really good. No, it wasn't. The part with the, the stupid teenage romance and the part where Corey Cunningham was really, really good. And it's like, oh, God. Like... That happens with every movie, though. Like, not just these shitty movies. Like, every movie's always going to have someone who's like, that was actually really good. I don't know what people saw it was bad about it. Even, like, the worst movies we've ever reviewed. Well, I can't even imagine what this movie would be. I don't th- I think it's a shame. Like, to me, it's like they've gotten a painting uh, and they've and they've uh, torn well, it up. And I do put it back on the canvas only in pieces. I do think that you know rearrange the pieces. I don't think that it'll be the worst movie of the year. Uh, who knows? But like, you've really. I'm I'm expecting to do a very very uh, long rant and just obliterate it because that's what I expect from David Gordon Gay and. Uh, uh. Blumhouse company most of the time why 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 couldn't they have like made a new movie for Audrey Rose or that movie you know take take a movie that had potential that wasn't great and make that and improve on that don't do this thing and you know why, Safi? Because they wouldn't have made as much money. I guess. Well, and it's like, well, it's well, trash. I guess not, because I don't think Audrey Rose got as much um, notoriety do as a, uh, The Exorcist. That's because it wasn't as good as it could have been. And do a do a movie of a little girl who lives down the land. Like, that That's was... a good one, too. That was a good movie, and, like, you could do something with that. Like... But don't do this thing. It's it's like cultural terrorism. It's like let's just take. Well, I just think it's like getting them. I'm I don't know. Call the Exorcist a masterpiece, but I thought it was pretty, pretty good. It, it's it's, it's a solid, cool. yeah, it's solid movie. 
<coughs> masterpiece, you know, kind of like one, and tearing it up into big pieces. There's really and no flaws. And rearranging it back on a canvas like into there, a different looking masterpiece. There is, there is no flaws in the original movie, <coughs> in my opinion. Like, that... That's a perfect movie. Uh, there's nothing else. To... The, the veins or whatever in her eyes. Well, my you favorite. See that on the big screen is really ew. My favorite part is probably when she's uh, walking upside down down the stairs, which they cut out of the oh. theatrical movie, and it's 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 in the. Uh, I was gonna di- say I don't remember seeing that. Director's cut. Oh, I haven't seen that. And she's, she's spitting blood out of her mouth, too. Oh. And it's like, what are they going to do in this one? Like, you know, <coughs> they're so fucking uh, wimpy and bitchy. And, uh, you know, they're not going to have a scene where she's uh, raping herself with a crucifix like in the original. You know, they're too, they're too pussified to have something like that. So, you know, they they don't even have the balls to have like the real exorcist happen on screen because you know Marco hasn't been doing a video in a while. He's really really mouthing up a storm. Even if if I got shot with a machine gun like Bonnie and Clyde style, I would still find the energy to destroy this movie's trailer oh. at least. Okay, well. And and the movie. Well, I think we've ripped it apart enough. It just, I, you don't really have to say anything. You can just sigh and, and say and, this really is And the good. actors, it's like these actors are like actors that you'd see in like a straight-to-video movie. It's like, why can't they find some good actors somewhere? And Ellen Burstyn, you know, she is... She's been in a lot of things. She's and she's probably been on Broadway. Who knows? I'm not sure. Like you know but what? She's a very uh, well-known, experienced actor. Been around for a long time. Do you know what they really should have done? They should have done a movie where people just meet uh, the actress who plays Reagan at conventions because she's terrible and she has a terrible reputation at conventions, mm. tearing up people's autographs and shit. Mm. Uh, being a huge bitch. Really? And so th- they should have just made, like, a movie about her at conventions and, like, be like, you know, oh, she's possessed. She became possessed as an actress. <laughs> and so she's... That that would have been really good. Like, that would be a good explanation for why she's so awful at conventions. Will she be in this movie? No. Hmm. I don't think so. Hmm. She's probably like, now... I'm bigger than the exorcist now. I do I I do like stuff that nobody knows about and it's a lot better than that uh that um uh, immature drib- dribble. <laughs> Safi? Safi? What? Well, I don't want to tell you. I don't like it. It's not that good. And it, it's not a, something that I'm really looking forward to seeing. How about that? I would rather, if I could, go see the Haunted Mansion. I guess that's coming up, what, this weekend? I think it already already came out. I don't know. That's not what it sounds like in my fa- on my Facebook. Unless it's, the, it's in Canada. It hadn't been premiered in Canada because uh, they, they acted like it hadn't come out yet. I thought it was out too, but I don't know. But whatever, I'd rather go see that. And that, you know, who that's probably very simple and not much to it. But you know, I'd still like to see it. And then uh, the Barbie movie. Oh, and I don't know if I could sit through, you know, an entire afternoon of Oppenheimer. I'm sorry. I just don't know if I could do it. I can't stand movies that last that long. I don't care what they are. I just, I'll never forget that night when they had the Batman trilogy. And yeah, we like, watched the ugh. the Dark Knight trilogy, full trilogy. Uh, wow. It was the night they had that mass shooting in Colorado, too. Yeah. We're nowhere near it, Colorado, but it, still, it is long. It's it's really it hard. Forever. I kind of fell asleep. Even at home, it's, it's, even at home it's really hard watching a three-hour movie. Yeah, like, I, I just can't. I hate it. It just yeah. We watched uh, Babylon, which of course is not too. In fact, uh, p- uh, I would say standards. I'm sure, 
but it's there was a good part in it I really liked. Well, I would say that you know I would say limit yourself two three hour movies a year. That's it. Well, it's just to me, it's like torture. Yeah. And for and, and Oppenheimer is like almost three and a half hours, and that doesn't even include the uh, trailers at the beginning. So well, you're see, talking about an entire the, morning if you started at like the, eight o'clock. The trick or is or entire afternoon. The or trick an is evening. the trick is to miss all the trailers by arriving twenty minutes late, approximately. <coughs> that's I what I want to do for everything. I just don't want to... I, I can't take it just to watch, sit there for that long watching the same thing. I think this movie might be like two and a half hours. Let's check. Because it, it is like almost three hours. So, Safi, are you excited? No. Believer run time. Oh, God. It's two hours. What's two hours? The Exorcist Believer. Already they know that? They've got a poster with, like, the girl, like, with, like, I don't know. It looks like there's just period blood gas everywhere. It looks looks really weird. (laughs) Well, the thing where you have two people is just ridiculous. That's just, just that's like in Jurassic World where they're, like, it's not just one bad dinosaur. It's a, a a million different species of bad dinosaurs put together. Remember that bad dinosaur, Safi, in Jurassic World? See, that was actually a, a fun movie, though. That wasn't terrible like, uh, you know, Halloween Ends, for instance. So no, I liked it. I, I, mean, I thought it was adequate. It was just entertaining and light. It wasn't anything, you know, forever and ever. There's nothing that's ever going to have the full impact of the first Jurassic Park. Oh, I disagree. Maybe the second one, but I don't think. I mean, you, those two, those two initial movies, um, were groundbreaking. They just have to make something, <coughs> and uh, not make the Exorcist believer. Safi? So, whatever. Okay. I've so, tried to end this ten times okay, now. Okay, so let's ju- end it. So, if you like this, give it a thumbs up and become one of our subscribers. Uh, we welcome all new subscribers because we like getting feedback about what people think about things, what they're seeing, and what you uh, what you think about what you're seeing and what you what people could do to improve what you're seeing if you don't care for it. Or what you liked about what you've been seeing. So goodbye, everybody. I can just imagine watching this movie. It just this is the experience that you'll have watching The Exorcist Believer. You sit there, and uh, the the credits come on, and you already have to go to the bathroom, and <laughs> the whole movie, you're just sitting there, just wanting to go to the bathroom. And well, like, I'm just thinking about you can't sit there and eat during the for three and a half hours or just two hours. And then finally, <coughs> for the exorcist, you get up, you go to the bathroom, and you never come back because it's like the fuck demon this shit. You and that's part of the perks of the movie that you get to feel what it's like to be possessed by a demon. They should have and then uh, when the movie's over. You have to get uh, exorcised. Uh, to get the demon out. Well, that's possible with uh, some people. Like when you read Harry Potter. I and like Harry Potter. I, watched, I read all the books and saw all the movies. Yeah, you know, all those kids. I'm not sorry. <laughs> all, those, all those kids who are going to hell because they read Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, I know. Those, book, those loving and thoughtful book banners. I read. They want to keep us from being. Uh, Possessed by the devil. My daughter never read Harry Potter. She only read good books like uh, the KKK Survival Guide and uh, How to Be a Person for Retards. And so she's never going to hell. Yeah. Like all those people who read Harry Potter. Yeah. We're terrible people. Bye. Bye.